in and out. Yep. And the sensors bolt in and out. It's the original sensor. So when you buy a stroker engine, let's say you had a colder intake, you just change the air mass meter up to change the whole colder intake. Okay. So it's just a you know a couple hundred bucks for two of these things. Yep. And you have a stroker motor, your colder intake works, same air filter works, same housing works, you just change these two pieces. Yes. So that way you don't have to worry about buying the colder intake, coming back on and buying the engine and throwing away your twenty five hundred dollars. Yep. And, uh, and and the air filters are uh, they they're specially made for Dynan as well. Yeah, yeah, we have those. We have tooling made to mold. And yeah, so so have that taper with the funnel built into it. And yeah, so so you order the air filters from from Dynan. They make they make the, they made the radius of the funnel wrong. Yes. So we sent it back and they had to remachine the tooling. They made it again and then they put a ridge on the inside of it. Then we had to send it back and machine it again. And so it took three iterations to get the air filter like the CAD drawing. Yeah, yeah. Right, and it's a month a piece each time, right? I mean, it, <laughs> it is, but 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 this looks good and and carbon overlay and. It's gonna be beautiful. The, well, we also match the carbon weave with the stress brace, so the oh, weave is nice. the same because they make these in different prints. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. You have to <laughs> so think about so that. They look like they go together. Yeah, it should right? match yeah. exactly. Yeah, I know that's kind of silly too. Uh, and and. <laughs> um, yeah. If you order the stroke kit, will you get to like uh, these details too, or? No, that's a separate part. We sell. Separate part. Yeah. Yes. Now, if you look over here too, we made this nice little bracket to hold the windshield washer filling bottle because it used to attach the air filter box. Ah, that's yeah. right. And then we made these little cups over here to hold the coolant lines. Yeah, it's a, it's so a, the small details to, to yeah, it make it OEM looking. Yeah. Now this will be injection mold, so the plastic will be textured. We match this texture. Yep. And then the little carbon fiber to match this. Oh, so the yeah. piece will oh. look like it came on Textures. the car, right? Really nice. Yeah, we even textured the plastic on the tooling to match the texture of the rest of the parts on the engine because you can pick different textures on plastic. Yeah. And, 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 uh, and uh, again, uh, the gain is uh, one third from removing the charcoal filters, yeah. and uh, uh, then uh, the sheer size of the box and the sh sheer area of size of the filters. Yeah. And then uh, the air mass meter flow. Air mass meter flow, yeah. Th th that's, that's about it. Yeah, uh, all together it comes up around 20. Yeah, around 20, yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a beautiful 20 horsepower gain. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It's going to look good. So here I was Here's the biggest problem with the flow. Ah, yes. The, wow. Not, not, not Isn't that there. horrible? Look it is. You can't even see through it. You, you can barely see light through it. Well, this is what ours looks like. Yes. <laughs> and then it has the funnel that goes Be into it. Better flow. <laughs> better flow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The cavity is physically a lot larger, so you can put a bigger air, uh, air filter in it, as well as the bigger air mask. You have those screens in it. Yeah. Uh, Uh, three horsepower gain was smooth, smoother. Well, actually, the air filter radius that I showed you. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, the, yeah, the air, air filter radius, and then uh, also it's important to have this uh, to cover from the hot air. Right, the seal to the intake. Yeah, the seal to the intake, and uh, uh, what, what more? What, what more were the largest gains? Where, where did you find well, the, the gains power compared? Came from making the cavity bigger. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, making yeah, yeah. the air filter larger, yeah. getting rid of the hydrocarbon absorber that everybody pulls yeah. out. Oh uh, yeah, the, um, yeah, the, uh, what you say, the charcoal filters. Yeah, that, that's a third of the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one third, okay. And, and then the, the, the tapered funnel or venturi that goes into the air mass meter. Yeah, venturi epic. And the size of the air mass meter and then eliminating the screens or grids in the air mass meter. And uh, yeah, and, and as you mentioned, uh, First, also uh, the, the the sheer size, the volume is larger, right? And it makes more air. Yeah, it's one of the biggest problems. With, there's there's two big restrictions, well, three big restrictions in the stock airbox. One is the hydrocarbon absorber. Yeah. The other one is the air filter, just physically too small for the size of the engine. Oh, really? It physically, oh. is. it doesn't pass over. There's a huge pressure drop. I think it's like 24 millibars across the filter. Uh, and the air filter is is that like a 550 filter or something? No, Why no, is it it's smaller? Big, it's just too small for yeah. the engine. It's like BMW made a calculation error. Or they ran yeah. out of space, or I yeah. don't know. I don't or, know why. Or it's the production price. I mean, they want to keep down. Yeah. Or they want to make it easier to change. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. I don't know. So we couldn't put a flat panel filter. We had to make a vertical oval filter to get the surface area of the filter. Yeah. And then we had to make the cavity bigger to fit the bigger filter. Yeah. And a lot of the game was from the filter. And by the way, putting a new element in doesn't solve the problem. Like it came so in, it doesn't blow any more into stock one because the problem isn't the isn't the design of the paper, but it's the square inches of area that the filter has. It's just way too small. Okay. Okay. So you physically need to make the filter larger. Yeah. That you have to make a new housing. Yeah. Um, I, I, and also, uh, and here we have a new housing and a larger box also. As well. right. And then also another big gain came from getting rid of this grid. Yes. It's highly restrictive. And uh, and how, how did you say you found out those uh, three horsepowers by smoothing 
uh, smoothening that uh, that area. How do you define that? Well, usually the Venturi will line up the air and, and, into a tube and make it flow, but we've yeah. done that for years. That's why you have velocity stacks, like on the S62, you know, going yeah. into the trumpets and stuff. Yeah. So we already know what the geometries of those tapers normally are that work the best, yeah. just from experience. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we wrap our prototype plastic funnels yep. of different geometries and different sizes. Yep. Let the air filter off yep. from the dynamometer, did yep. a dyno run without the funnel, yep. and then put the funnel on, glued it to the air mass meter, yep. and then try different funnels yep. until we got the one that worked the best. Uh, and, and then we incorporate that into the air filter itself. Uh, and, and also, uh, yeah, d uh, dynoing is one thing, but uh, isn't there a way of measuring like really how much volume of air that goes through. Yeah, using computational fluid dynamics, you yeah. do a calculation, but it just gets you close. Okay. Sometimes it'll give you a calculation and you put it on the dynamometer, it won't make more. Okay. And, and sometimes it will tell you it doesn't do anything, and you put it on, it does. And so and, 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 it certainly and, and, is a tool, like any other tool, but it's yeah. the complete answer. You have to do both. Uh, and also you know? so, sometimes you could put the car on the dyno and then you put it on the street, and it's really on the street where it, where it shows also. So yeah. that, I mean, for example, the, the aluminum bundle we make for the S62 V8, Yep. We actually took the original plastic ones and made them bigger. Oh. According to CFD, they flowed like 20% more. And going yep. to the flow bench, we put them on a flow bench, they sold 20% more. We put them on the dynamometer, made exactly the same power. Uh, Lost really? a little bit of torque. Really? <laughs> then we made that one with the taper bell that you, yeah. you, we make now, yeah. and it was like 18 horsepower. All we what? did was change the taper of the opening and the curvature of the opening. Really? Wow. Yeah. And so, you know, it's hard from exactly a, a exact science, I would say. <laughs> it is. And uh, here will you have the carbon fiber overlaid cover. Uh, these notches are to make the air filter easier to get in and out. Yes, uh, and it's going to be yes, snap-on snap type of screws. Yeah.